37 hostages aboard that Air France jet hijacked last Sunday were freed today. But they stood nervously holding machine guns on the remaining 209. We got an ultimatum that on Thursday they are going to be assassinated, all of them. We had to plan within a very tight limit, something that had never been done before. This is our mission, this is our destiny, and we must do it. And the only ones that can do it, it's us. Time was running out, and the fear, anxiety, and frustration of the relatives of the Israeli hostages built out into an angry outpouring of emotion. We heard in the news that it was a rescue mission, and that the hostages had been freed, and that one officer had been killed. I said, why, why did they say one officer? Yoni was a remarkable child. He was a person who didn't mind taking risks. His letters were always illuminating. He wrote because it was an expression of his soul. I love you very much. I say it with a cry, with somberness, and with longing. Miss you, Yoni. Beloved, I believe with all my heart that it's extremely important that I be in the army now. We hear the war slogans of millions of our neighbors and their desire to annihilate us. On one hand, achieving unachievable heights, and on the other hand, not possessing the simple things that make people happy. Educating people to risk their life against their instincts, and that the only way is to lead by personal example, and that's what he did all his life. Yoni and the officer who's sitting behind them are shooting at the guards. All of a sudden, from quiet, we go into full combat mode. Surprise is over. Yoni shouts, move, 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 don't stop. He was moving ahead, making all of us follow him. I must feel certain that not only at the moment of my death shall I be able to account for the time I have lived. I ought to be ready at every moment of my life to confront myself and say, this is what I've done. <laughs> <laughs>